Yes. Do you still have any Windows XP machines in use? Maybe at the camp, anywhere? Yeah, maybe. Pro- possibly. Mm. It's time to start thinking about it, folks. April 8th, Windows XP April is no 8th. more. Gone. Kaplooey. I'm going to have to get on, everybody. You can't everybody. use it Chase. past April 8th. And some people are saying, oh, yeah, you can. You can keep using it. It works like a charm. It's Windows XP. Okay. Windows XP, can you believe it? Mm-hmm. Came out in 2001. Seems like, like a lifetime ago. 13 years. We're talking, okay, the first iPhone was not even announced until 2007. The first Whoa. iPhone. So we're talking six years before the yeah. very first iPhone was even announced. Uh, Google was only a small company back when XP came Weird, out. 400 eh? people worked there. It was privately held. Couldn't even hmm. be traded on the stock exchange. Interesting. 2001, folks. So we're talking really old software, but really what it boils down to, there's a big problem. Um, Microsoft is pulling support on Windows XP, but continuing support for Windows 7, Windows 8. Hmm. Of course. Those are the new ones that they yeah. want you to upgrade well, to. Yeah. So why is that a problem? Imagine I'm a hacker, because <laughs> we'll just you know pretend I'm a hacker. <laughs> they probably dress just like this. Mm. <laughs> and I am wanting to exploit your bank account information. I'm wanting to take over your identity. Ooh. I'm wanting to use the power of your computer to create a botnet so that I can mass mail people and trick them into installing my software that gives me access to their bank accounts. I'm going to use your computer for that. What's the best way to do that? It's to get into your Windows system. Mm -hmm. It's to trick you into installing something that you don't want to install. So where the problem lies is that when Windows XP support is gone, Mm -hmm. April 8th, 2014, what happens is they're still releasing patches for Windows 7 and Windows 8. So they say, oh, we found this really big exploit (laughs) for Microsoft Windows that lets hackers access your computer and take over, right? So the hackers are sitting there going, oh, okay. Because they know that they're not applying that ex- that fix mm-hmm. to Windows XP right. anymore. Gotcha. Okay, so basically, what Microsoft has done is they've handed them this exploit on a silver platter and said, hmm. "Look at this! You can now get into the system unless they apply this patch." But the patch does not apply to Windows XP. So the hmm. first thing the hacker is going to do is reverse engineer the fix. Gotcha and see what the problem is, then test that exploit hmm. against Windows XP. And lo and behold, it's not going to take long before one of them actually matches up because they are shared code bases. And they're going to say, oh, look, haha, this exploit for Windows 7 also existed in Windows oh, XP. No. There are still X number of millions of users on Windows XP. Now I'm going to distribute a virus through email that automatically circumvents mm. all the protection that exists for Windows XP, and you're done. It's freaking they've yeah. got your email accounts. They've got your identity. They've got all that. They, they can lock you out of your accounts. Imagine so logging freaky. into your online banking and it says your password is incorrect. I know. And you go, what? Oh. And your money's drained. And then you go onto Twitter and you can't log in, but somebody's posting a bunch of obscenities to your Twitter timeline mm. or Facebook or sending things to your friends. So there's, there's a lot of scary potential. You have to get off Windows XP. Uh, if your computer is about three years old or newer, then it's possible that maybe Windows 7 would take. Mm -hmm. Even if it's about five years old, there's there's a potential that your computer could be good enough to install Windows 7. Um, Maybe Windows 8, but then you need some extra, you know, need a better Mm -hmm. processor Mm -hmm. for Windows 8. Certainly, Linux is a good alternative. And if you've heard this word Linux, you've probably heard it here on the show. Uh, You're using Windows XP. You don't want to have to rush out and buy new hardware just because Mm -hmm. Windows XP is coming to an end. You have to get rid of Windows XP, plain and simple. There is no option, and Mm. I'm telling you that because it's critical, and it's going to be critical. Anyone who stays on it is basically a ticking time bomb. Yeah, seriously. So, Mm. you know, every Java exploit that comes out, which is a big one, Mm -hmm. every Adobe Flash exploit that comes out, which is another big one, they're not going to fix it for Windows XP. Hmm. So we got some big problems. So check out Linux. Uh, I like Point Linux, and uh, you can check out the links through our show notes. Episode uh, number 329 of Category 5 dot uh, tv point linux i just want to make sure whether it's a yeah it is a dot org point yeah. linux dot org uh, another popular one is ubuntu u b u n t u 
dot mm-hmm. com. Debian is a great one. Uh, Arc Linux. Uh, folks in the chat room, what what Linux brands and versions do you like? But Point Linux, these are called flavors, so they're just different versions of Linux. Mm-hmm. Um, but I really like Point Linux, Debian, uh, Ubuntu is very popular. A little bit of a different, a little bit more of a curve, learning curve mm-hmm. to get into Ubuntu because it's a different interface. Point Linux is pretty familiar. If you're using Windows XP, you're not going to have any trouble getting around. Uh, Rev D. Jank says use uh, Linux Mint is another good one. Uh, Masterminds <laughs> says Manjaro. <laughs> And uh, quite a few thumbs up for Linux Mint. And another one from Dennis Kelly for Point Linux. So, so there are some uh, alternatives to mm-hmm. upgrading to Windows yes. 7, Windows 8. And Linux is it. So check it out. We've only got till April 8th. Good to know. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.